We have a guest this morning. We have uh, the congressman from Florida's 6th District, uh, Congressman Michael Waltz, on, our, on the line with us. Good morning, Congressman. Hey, good morning. Uh, good to be with you. And, uh, man, that's a heck of a lot colder than, uh, <laughs> than, than North Florida. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you home or are you in uh, are you in well, Washington? Well, I'm actually I'm actually in D.C. right now, yeah. uh, de- dealing with a with a heck of a lot of nonsense. <laughs> That's uh, trying to trying to one, you know, get Congress to do its basic job, which is to keep the government running. Uh, but then number two, uh, negotiating this uh, this cr- coronavirus relief deal. Yeah. So, so let's start with number two because that's probably closest to most people's heart. That's right. Where's, where's my check? Yeah. <laughs> where Where do we stand on that, Congressman? Well, I, I got to tell you, it's frustrating. You know, I'm a I'm a Green Beret by background and uh, fought over the world for all around the world for 24 years. And uh, some days I think Afghanistan's easier than <laughs> no than, than, than DC. <laughs> that's an analogy. <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, look, that, that, here's the most frustrating piece is uh, Speaker Pelosi has been sitting on $138 billion uh, that's left over unused for the Paycheck Protection Program, the small business program from the last coronavirus relief deal uh, last spring. Uh, unused, sitting there in the Treasury, ready to go. We've tried 19 times to get her to sit aside, you know, her, her progressive, progressive wish list. And uh, just cleanly pass that and allow businesses another bite of that apple. Uh, so paycheck protection is a big part of it. Uh, there's some new rules there for small businesses. If, if everything goes through, it'll, it'll drop from 500 to 300. And uh, there'll be some, some testing. You have to really show you had some revenue loss to prevent people from don't, you know, who, who shouldn't get it from getting it. So, th- look, that's a piece. Individual stimulus uh, is, uh, is a piece. Uh, your check is coming, but it, it, it will be smaller than the 1200 I don't think they've settled on the number yet. And then a lot of money for getting the vaccine out, right, and uh, protective equipment for schools and other pieces there. What we've dropped, fortunately, is uh, the bailout money for a lot of blue states who have mismanaged their funds. But as part of the negotiation, we also dropped on our side the liability protections for, for businesses. That's where it sits. I haven't seen it yet. This will be the second largest uh, bailout package, you know, in American history. And yet we still haven't seen actual text from the speaker, which is also very frustrating. But we're 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 pushing forward. Do you think we're going to get a vote um, before the weekend or will it extend in the next week? I think it's going to I, it's going to have to extend, at least for the Senate. You know, the House will even if we get a vote in the next few days. Uh, that will extend in the next week for the Senate. Yeah, yeah. So how about the uh, the ominous spending bill? Are we going to get something done there? Well, and, you know, government government funding runs out tonight. You're right. So we're going to get something done. Uh, but I, what I think they're going to do is another short-term, you know, kind of Band-Aid, what they call a, a, a continuing resolution. Um, but, you know, these things, when they come down to these kind of negotiations, it's literally... Uh, the speaker, it, it'll be Secretary Mnuchin on behalf of the administration, uh, McConnell from the Senate and their staff. And it really boils down to a few, you know, dozen people in the room hammering this out. Yeah, I thought uh, continuing resolutions were temporary things, but this government's been running on those since, uh, what, 2006 was the horrible. last time? I voted against every, I voted against everyone since I've been in Congress. You know, that's, like I said, that is the basic fundamental part of our job and as again as a veteran and i'm on the armed services committee it's devastating to the military you can't run something that large you know on a month to month no business could much less a 700 billion dollar budget on these kind of two months of funding one month of funding it's 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 horrible policy i think that room meeting of a dozen people you mentioned you may have to put on your your green beret outfit and go (laughs) go swaggering in there and say look here yeah well, what I would love to do is, one, if every time the government shuts down, Congress's pay shuts down. And then, number two, lock them. I'll just, instead of kicking the door in, I'll just lock them all in there. Nobody can come out until, until you hammer this out. Go for it. Go I, for it. I like your thinking here. Have you ever thought right. of moving to Georgia? <laughs> 
Well, I was stationed in I was stationed in Savannah, uh, down at Fort Stewart, and you know when I, I I grew up in Jacksonville, and you end up knowing Georgia better than you know the rest of Florida. That's true. You know we're we're a lot more alike. Well, then I'm sure you know that we have a, a pretty uh, important uh, runoff election for our two Senate oh. seats in Georgia. You had to bring that up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> So you guys uh, haven't been talking about that much yet. No, no, no we just—it's yeah. breaking news. We just found out. <laughs> um, where where do you stand on that one? Well, you know, I have a really uh, a unique uh, and frustrating view. All of your members of the uh, of the House of Representatives do, and that we see <laughs> the craziness that the squad uh, and Pelosi pass out of the House. I mean, they pass it over our heads. We vote against it, but they pass this stuff out of the House. But the Senate never takes it up. It just kind of dies there because, uh, you know, uh, McConnell and the Republicans decide what's on their agenda. So things like uh, that will all change, though, if they get these two seats, if they get these two Georgia seats. Uh, They will eliminate the filibuster, which requires 60 votes, down to 51, so that Vice President Harris will be the tiebreaker. And this progressive stuff, will just start flying out of Congress right off of Biden's desk into law. For example, the first thing Pelosi passed uh, when she became Speaker this last Congress was to fundamentally change how we vote and we do elections. A lot of the things that people are so upset about that just happened, she would make it law. No voter ID for any state in the nation. Dropping the voting age to 16, from 18 to 16. Uh, uh, things that really kind of stack the deck in the inner city automatic registration including for undocumented illegals so what she will do first is lock down power and make it almost impossible for us to get back and then on the senate dc statehood so they get two more senate seats uh and so that's just what i want folks to realize is that this is about power uh and once they lock it down in a way to make it impossible for republicans to get back that's when you're going to get national sanctuary cities national you know uh, government run health care all the things that we've opened borders all the things we've most feared one more thing the the squad uh introduced what they call the breathe act and the breathe act will defund border patrol ice and the entire federal prison system so this is very serious this is not the country that i fought and almost died for uh, and it's not one that i want my kids growing up with led by democratic socialists or for that matter a world led by chinese communists it all comes down to these two seats yeah unfortunately a lot of my acquaintances a lot of voters are are saying that'll never happen in in the united states that'll never happen and how do, how do we get that message across that it's they've said that they're, they're not hiding it anymore yeah they're, well they're, they're not i mean this is this is about i mean schumer you know is let it slip you know in his euphoria mm-hmm. of getting uh biden elected with he knows who's really going to be running the shots in the white house and that's the most liberal senator in the senate kamala harris if you do not get elected to statewide election in california without being an ultra progressive so she'll be running the show there he'll be running the show in the senate and Pelosi will be running the show in the House. Where are they all from? New York and California. Yeah. Uh, and and that's what and that's what this is about. It absolutely will happen. They intend for it to happen, and they passed a lot of these bills out of the House. Again, they die in a Republican-led Senate, but they won't uh, if uh, if we lose these two seats. Well, I've had it already, oh. Oh. so I have that T-shirt and uh, I have the antibodies. So for me, that's taken at least as long as I have the antibodies. I, I don't want to take one from uh, from someone else that that needs it. However, um, if you know we need to do that as kind of a demonstration that it's safe, I'm perfectly comfortable uh, uh, taking it, and and we'll do that. I just we haven't quite seen kind of the rules yet on. Yeah, you know, folks taking it who've had it or not. I don't want to take it away from someone who needs it. Congressman, right. we're going to get cut off here, but we certainly appreciate your time. Continue fighting the good fight up there, will you? 